So in the final part of our positive thinking session, we're going to be covering goal setting. So it's really important in life that we have goals and aspirations that can give, give us purpose and direction in our life. And that can be really important for how we, how we maintain our motivation and enthusiasm for what we do. So I'm going to be covering my four-step guide to how I set goals and how I go about uh, achieving my goals in the session. And yeah, the four, the four steps that I'm going to cover Oh, the first step is get set. So this is all about how we set our goals. Now, when we set our goals, we need to have that big dream. Yeah, the big aspiration. Once we know that, we can then begin to break it down into little goals, into more, more smaller goals, yeah, that we can do day by day. So the key thing of when we set our goals is we need to know, yeah, what we want to do, how we can, how we can do it, and think out why, why do we want to do it? Does it Align to our values and our beliefs. And once we know that, we then need to commit. You need to start. Get started. You know, there's never a perfect time in life to start something, to, to begin that journey. So, yeah, if we can just commit to our goals, Day by day, that's how we can get there. So, the second element to this is on our way. So, when we get on our way, we need to embrace the challenges of what we do. We need to get outside our comfort zone. We need to be prepared to, to do things that we don't particularly want to do or, or that we find uncomfortable. Then yeah, that's the best way, best way to learn and to grow. We need to get the good from the bad because bad things are going to happen, you know. But yeah, we can find the good is bad if we look for it. And we need to embrace failure. Yeah. Fail failure is the best opportunity to learn. And then that moves us on to the the third step. So the third step is action. We need to take action. Yeah. We need to be proactive and not reactive. Yeah. We need to be intentional in what we do. Every day, the more you can take action against your aspirations, action, that drives you forward, that helps you to make progress. Yeah, that's what we need to do. We need to, when we take action, we're gonna be we're gonna be proactive, intentional, we're gonna be present, we're gonna be engaged and not get distracted. And the fourth, the fourth step 
is learning. We have to always keep learning. Yeah, never stop. Always stay curious. Yeah, be interested and intrigued in what you do. So a key part of how we can do this is in how we how we track what we do. The more we can write down, the more we can record what we do, the more we can measure, then that will help us to evaluate what we're doing. Make sure we're on the right track, that we're doing the right things, that we're, we're heading, heading in the right direction. And that, that, that will help us to be able to adapt and change along the way. Because whatever we do in life, it never happens the way we expect. So we always have to be prepared to adapt and change. Because success isn't a straight line. Progress can take a lot of time and effort and a lot of repetition. Yeah. Before we see the results. So yeah, by staying curious, by asking questions, that can help us to to keep on track, to keep trying, to keep working, and to enjoy what we do day by day, bit by bit. And yeah. Really, it's all about how every day you can kind of bridge the gap between your reality of where you are now to your aspiration of where you want to be. Yeah, and that's what, that's what this is all about. And yeah, positive mindset, positive thinking. It doesn't just happen because you want it to happen. Yeah, it, it's a practice. It's an art. Yeah. Every day, you've got to choose what perspective you want to bring into that day. You've got to choose how you're going to react of what happens to you and I. Yeah, you got to identify the positive practices, the positive routines and habits that can help you to deal with your thoughts, to process what happens in life and react in a positive way. And yeah, in life, nothing positive can come from a negative, and nothing negative can come from a positive. So, yeah, the more positive we can be in our mindset, the more positive our life is going to seem. I hope you enjoyed these, these little videos. It gives us uh, an overview of how we can develop and maintain a positive mindset. And uh, I hope you can take something away from each video that can help you to start to develop your own positive mindset. It can help you, you to excel in what you choose to do in your life. So yeah, I've, I've, been, I've been sticking to that. I'm a Paralympic athlete. I'm a positive mindset coach. And it's been a real pleasure to 
Thank you, Bill. These key elements. We've talked about the power of positive thinking. We've talked about how we can develop resilience and maintain motivation for what we do. We talked about how we can perform well under pressure and stress and how we can set goals and achieve goals effectively. So again, thank you for listening and good luck with whatever it is that you are aspiring to.